Hello children once again i welcome you all to this english class okay from the picture given in the slide can you identify the actions that may cause inconvenience and discomfort to others yes talking aloud on the mobile while there are people around us may cause inconvenience to them am i right yes listening to music and shouting and singing along with the voice also may cause inconvenience to others and the last thing is using the phone while driving the car may result in accident isn't it yes okay can you identify what are the pictures comes under the personal freedom and public liberty yes coloring the air red talking aloud on the mobile phone listening to music and shouting using the phone while driving the car these and all comes under the personal freedom then climbing up to the mountain cycling through the forest and all comes under the public liberty am i right yes so in this session We are going to learn from Unit Six Prose. The title is "On the Rule of the Road," and it was written by Alfred George Gardiner. This prose is about freedom and liberty. Before we enter into the prose, we'll see about the author. Alfred George Gardiner was a British journalist and author. He was a prolific essayist. and his style and subject matter easily qualified him to be categorized as what the english would call a very civilized gentleman his essay include on habits on being tidy and on talk and talkers on the rule of the road was included in one of the gardener's complications titled leaves in the wind and was published under his pseudonym alpha of the plow on the rule of the road is a famous and amusing essay by halfred george gardiner in this essay the rule of the road gardiner strikes the bull's eye when he declares that in order to preserve the freedoms of all it is necessary to curtail every one's freedoms he points out what constitutes true liberty freedom and liberty have become the watchwords of today's society and every action taken is in the interest of personal freedom liberty both human and political has acquired tremendous significance in the contemporary world of constricted social and political anarchy let's see the essay in detail children listen carefully meanwhile i'll ask you questions alfred george gardiner is one of the most delightful essayists of the modern times in this essay the rule of the road he points out what constitutes true liberty the essay starts with an amusing anecdote of a stout old lady was walking down in the middle of a street in petrograd causing great confusion in the traffic when this was pointed out the old lady replied that she has the liberty to walk where she likes to roam but the old lady does not know that if liberty entitles the foot passenger to walk down the middle of the road it also entitles the cab driver to drive on the pavement the end of such liberty would be a universal chaos the author points out that this kind of individual liberty would become a social anarchy okay why did the lady think she was entitled to walk down the middle of the road yes the lady thought that she had a liberty to walk wherever she liked right yes okay 
what would be the consequence of the old lady's action yes the old lady's action would lead to a great confusion of the traffic isn't it so there was every possibility of risk to her life too isn't it yes the rule of the road means that in order to preserve the liberties of all the liberties of everybody must be curtailed when the policeman put out his hand at a piccadilly circus street we must not think that our liberty has been violated if we are reasonable persons we will reflect that if he did not interfere the result would be that we would never cross the piccadilly circus street at all we have to submit to a curtailment of private liberty in order that we may enjoy a social order which makes our liberty a reality okay what does the rule of the road mean yes the rule of the road means that in order to preserve the liberties of all then the liberties of everybody must be curtailed isn't it yes why should individual liberty be curtailed individual liberty should be curtailed for a social order isn't it yes the author points out that liberty is not a personal affair but it is a social contract it is an adjustment of interests he lists out some examples like wearing a gown walking down the street having long hair walking with bare foot dyeing one's hair or waxing going to bed early and getting up late these actions ask no man's permission okay mention one or two examples to show that you are as free as you like yes we can go down the road in a dressing gown then we can dye our hair or wax our hair as we like isn't it yes okay define liberty as perceived by the author yes the author defines liberty as a social contract it is an accommodation of interests if one practices a trombone from midnight until 3 in the morning on the elveli no one would ask about it but if he intend to play it in the street the neighbors will remind us that our liberty to blow the trombone interferes with your liberty to sleep quiet the author once got into a railway carriage and started to read a blue book he did not read that for pleasure instead it was for a humble purpose of turning an honest penny out of them since he was reading for a task he required reasonable calmness and that was what he did not get a couple of men came in the next station they were talking for the rest of the journey in a loud and pompous voice the author closed his book and looked out of the window here the author believes that the rights of small and quiet people are as important to preserve as the rights of small nationalities the author concludes the essay by saying that we must be a judicious mixture of both anarchist and socialist we have to preserve both individual liberty and social liberty it is in the small matter of conduct in the observance of the rule of the road that we pass judgment upon ourselves and declare that we are civilized or uncivilized these little habits of common place intercourse make up the great sum of life and sweeten or make bitter the journey okay how can we sweeten our life's journey yes the little habits of common intercourse sweeten our life's journey right yes 
Let's see few glossaries from the pros. Peril, risk, chaos, confusion, anarchy, lawlessness or rebellion, curtailed, reduced, tranny, autocracy, insolence, rudeness, ridiculous, comical, conventional, normal, accommodate, fit in with, preserved, maintained. Now we'll see few key points for better understanding. The author illustrates the end of personal liberty would be universal chaos. Personal liberty is not more important than public liberty. Liberties of everyone may be maintained and the liberties of everybody must be reduced. Liberty is not a personal affair. It is a social commitment. It should not touch the other's liberty. A reasonable consideration for the rights or feelings of others is the foundation of social conduct. The little habits of commonplace intercourse make up the great sum of life. It sweetens our life's journey. Okay children, up to this the prose gets over. Hope you understand. Please go through the essay in your textbook and try to find out the meaning for the hard words. Thank you.